Hey everybody, this is Brandon from CAD Intentions, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to recreate the Tetris blocks like this one here in AutoCAD using 3D basics and some really quick and easy uh, 3D methods. So I'm going to show you how to extrude and then kind of like chamfer the edges of blocks and basically just how to work in the 3D space. Uh, so let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you like more of these videos, I'll keep making them. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and enjoy. Let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is switch from typical AutoCAD workspace to 3D Basics, which you can do in the bottom right hand corner here by clicking the gear and selecting 3D Basics. It's not going to change anything in AutoCAD really, uh, but the home tab and the, uh, the other tabs in the ribbon here are going to be focused on 3D modeling and 3D tools in AutoCAD. Uh, the one we're going to use today mostly is Extrude, and under the Edit, we're going to use Chamfer Edge, uh, as well as some basic commands that you already probably know. Next, we're going to set up our workspace, and I'm going to do that by selecting this little minus sign here, going Viewport Configuration, and I'm going to just go with two vertical. I find it easiest to work with uh, one or two in 3D. Uh, this is just going to show you a, kind of a live example of what I'm doing. Uh, so I'm going to do, we're going to do southeast isometric and top on the left. If you don't have those, simply click the word and change it or however you'd like to set it up. You can also use the, the little UCS icon here to change yours around. To start, we're going to draw a rect or a square, but we're going to use the rectangle tool. So in draw, you're gonna right or you're gonna left click on the polygon little down arrow and click rectangle. It's gonna ask you for the first corner point. We're gonna hit zero comma zero to start in the at the bottom of the axis here. And we're gonna make it ten comma ten as the second point. That's gonna make a ten wide and ten tall rectangle in top view or a square. And since the the Tetris block we're making is the four long straight one, we're gonna just leave it at that. Next we're going to extrude this by 10 units high. Now to do that you're simply going to click the extrude button up here or type in extrude and then you're going to select your object hit enter and just pull it in the up direction on this right viewport here and just type in 10. Whichever direction you're pulling or pushing it well, it will continue to go in that direction the distance you type in. So I'm going to hit 10 and hit enter and you can see it's made a cube in 3D. It doesn't look like much but you'll see what I mean when we add uh, a few features to it. Next, under the edit pull down, you're going to go to the second one in which is chamfer edge and we're going to leave it at the default probably for you but type in D to find out what the distance in length on each axis so from here in it's going to go one as you can see down here is the default and from here down it's going to go one and you'll see what I mean when I hit this but you can experiment I'm going to use one for now and for distance two I'm going to use one so hit enter enter now it's asking to select an edge so I'm going to select this edge here and you can select as many as you want so we're going to do all four edges Once you've selected them all, hit enter, and you can see it's kind of pushed in all those edges. I'm going to show you by typing in orbit. Oh, don't forget to hit enter once more to end that command. Now I'm going to type in orbit, O-R-B-I-T, and now it's going to allow you to left click and kind of drag around your model. I'm going to come around to the back side here and do the same thing again. So drag it back and then hit enter or escape and it'll leave it there. Now we're going to do the edit pull down and do the exact same thing. Chamfer edge, you can type that in. We're going to select our four edges and this is just like the uh, reference picture we're using. Hit enter. And now you've got 
Uh, don't forget to hit enter once more to cancel or end the command. And now you've got a single Tetris block. If you type in orbit, you can kind of spin around it here and see it's in 3D. All the edges are kind of uh, chamfered in and it looks just like the picture. So next, after hitting enter, you can get out of that. We're going to copy this block on top of itself three times to make a four block long straight piece. So I typed in copy or CO and hit enter. I'm just going to select this bottom right corner here and I'm going to put it on the top right corner and I'm going to continue up doing that three times and then hit enter when you're done. Now we have the tall block piece from Tetris. So on the top left here of this viewport where it says 2D wireframe you can change this to shaded or I'm going to use shaded with edges and you can see what we've created now. We've created the original Tetris straight piece. Now by selecting it all you can choose a color uh, by bringing up options which is control and one. You can see it popped up here on the left. In color I'll just use magenta or purple for this piece. Now by selecting this window over here again and typing in orbit we can click and drag it around and you can see in 3D your completed Tetris piece. Pretty cool, right? Let me know what you guys think of this video and if you'd like to see some more. Uh, I'm going to create the next piece next week and make sure you subscribe to my channel to keep up with the videos and to see the new one next week. Thanks for watching and cheers. Bye. Hey everybody, don't forget to subscribe to join me and Drake here have a beer with us and to keep up to date with uh, new videos when they show up we'll be releasing one a week of the new Tetris series so make sure you guys subscribe cheers